Jesus, I am Larissa Kulse and I am thankful to God who has given us another testimony so we can glorify his name. And today we will be listening to the testimony of Grace Domego, who is from Philippines and is now living in Thailand. She is a worshipper of God and her parents are formal pastors. And today we will hear how God chose her and her family for missionary work. Welcome Grace. Hello. I am Grace Amigo and I am so, so happy and so, so blessed to share and to testify how good and how great God is throughout my life here in Thailand as a part of a family that serves God and as a missionary's kid. So my dad and my mom were both former pastors in the Philippines and I remember I was five years old when um, dad received this burden that he wants to do cross-cultural mission so he went to China for um, mission exposure and also here in Thailand for a few months and then he went back to the Philippines and I remember that we prayed as a family and God confirmed that he called us as a family to serve God here and to do cross-cultural mission here as a family, you know, as one. So we went here, you know, we arrived here without anything, but with, you know, the calling of God in our hearts. And we don't have financial support. There's no church that sends us. Um, there's no organization that sends us as well. There's nothing. So we went here, nothing, you know. We went here without anything, but uh, we, we, you know, as I said, there would be days that we don't have money to buy food, but there would be people knocking on our door and knocking and asking us to eat outside or inviting us to eat outside or giving us food, you know, in that specific day we don't have food or money to buy food. It's really touching. You know <laughs> and it's um that's how god is so adorable and so great at the same time and um it's just a small de detail and a small you know experience that we experience but that really um sticks and i really remember it you know in my mind whenever i'm tired or down or you know in the middle of um hardships uh, if I look back and you know see how God is so good and still doing great and still doing good until now you know I will just smile and be happy for the rest of the day and it really lifts, lifts uh, me up so as I said you know um, everything is not easy being a missionary is not easy it's really a calling and of course there will be hardships um for you know culture is really different um the language barrier we don't know any thai back then and yeah and you're far from your home country you're far from um your family and for you know in filipino culture family always comes first so um we're far from our family so our families um is actually our battery you know for filipino culture and we're really close to our family so if if you're like far from your family it will be you know hard when filipinos are you know overseas and or a missionary like that so um there will be, you know, as I said, hardships and um, it will be hard, everything will be hard, but we, I see the, you know, God is always there, you know, his hand is always there, he's always there giving out his hand and, you know, his face is all smile you know you got a kind of um yeah like he's always there giving out his hand and he's all smiling and his love is just 
you know, so great. And as he called you or, you know, me or my family, provision really follows, you know. He will make sure that um, you're not abandoned. As he said in his word, here in Deuteronomy 31 verses 8, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. This is my life verse as a missionary's kid. You know, I am really touched by this um, passage because it really speaks out, uh, you know, from our experience here in Thailand that he is really, really true to his promises. He will, if he said he will never leave you nor forsake you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. And I guarantee that as um, we came here without anything, but he provides everything. Um, throughout the years as I said I we went here you know I, when I was six years old and now I'm 20 so we we've been here for 14 years and I still see the goodness and the greatness of God throughout those years uh, I see. <laughs> yes I still see the goodness of God and it's not just that but you know every day you know he's still doing great doing good you know, in our family, not just here in Thailand, but also our family in the Philippines. You know, that um, blessing that flows when you are in God's will and when you are, um, when He called you, the provision follows and the blessing will flow from your family or from you to your family. You know, not just financial um, blessing, but also, you know, health and protection that no one else can give. Not in this world or no vaccine or any, any kind of medicine can give that kind of protection that God is giving. You know, glory to God. He's really, really great. And He's so, so good. And, you know, that's just a little bit of how, you know, I can... Our life here here in Thailand is just just a you know wee bit of um, you know our experience how of how good God is. We cannot describe how good God is, even though you know my whole life, my dad's whole life, uh, you know everyone's whole life in this world cannot express how good and great He is. So just believe in just you know have faith in him and he will really show you how great and how big he is you know and yeah he's he's really there <laughs> he's really here he's really with you in me with me through me behind me you know in you for you you know, he's really here. You just gotta believe. <laughs> and you just gotta have faith in him. And if he says that he will never leave you nor forsake you, he will not. He will never. As he did in, you know, my family. And yeah, I really touch by how he is great and you know yes so um i am so so blessed to be able to share this to you even though it's just a uh, um short or you know a tiny bit of our experience here in thailand but i believe that god will do greater things you know in your life in your family's life and in everyone's life you know this year and expect greater things from him and you know love him and he will let you see how good and how great he is
and how loving he is so, so thank you very much for um interviewing me here in this ministry may god bless you and may god um you know be with you always and shalom thank you Thank you so much, Grace, for sharing your powerful testimony. Zinda Gavai team is thankful to you for sharing your precious time. And I hope those who watched will get blessed by your testimony. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Amen.